Hello, Katrin Brechtina with you in Ecolis Coin News. Today we will talk about intellectual property. The global expansion of innovation is seen as a priority and strategic direction for all countries. The provision of the emerges of innovation can be possible by the means of the property rights protection including intellectual property, the protection of the right to the end of the market, the evolvement of competition policy, the judicial system, and so on. The Australian platform USAID Incorporated by being a non-profit association registered in the state of Queensland helps to unite the investors of new technologies with the financial world. USAID Incorporated experts guarantee freedom, autonomy and security for all participants. We have an opportunity to speak with Mr. Alexander de saint the commercial advisor of USAID Incorporated. Meet Alexander D. St. Amatus, an enthusiast of blockchain technology. Alexander studied at the University of Griffith, Australia, Faculty of Criminology. In 2016, he entered the University of the Sunshine Coast, Australia, and graduated from with diploma of a Master of Business Administration MBA, majoring in banking, corporate, and financial law. Currently, Alexander is a head of the consulting firm for enterprise management, JVE. Being interested in changing and new technologies, Mr. D. St. Amatus enthusiastically promote the growth of organizations. Using blockchain technology, the JVE works intensively with customers. Alexander speaks three languages. Due to his vigor, Mr. D. St. Amatus plays an important role in the development of business ideas. Alexander conducts on a volunteer basis advice for beginning businessmen as a charity. From hobbies, he prefers reading books, especially those that will benefit the work, and also strong inspired by nature. Hello, Mr. Alexander. I'm glad to see you in our studio. Well, thank you. I'm very glad to be here. I agree with the view that the national model based on overly centralized state involvement in the supporting priority enterprises and industries hampers the creation of an innovative economy. Do new technologies help your company reduce the pressure of state structures? Um, yes, yes, it does uh, to a point, and this is what gave us the incentive to create the USAT platform. Uh, eventually, we wanted to try to uh, decentralize the uh, USAT platform. At this particular time, uh, it, it's difficult to do so, as, as you can imagine, but we are incorporating a public blockchain into the USAT platform, which will uh, provide some, uh, some exposure to our activities to the general public, so it's going to provide us with some openness and transparency, transparency to the uh, to the general audience, which is overviewing our operations. We 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 think this is at least a um, an incremental step to decentralizing this sort of process and providing more autonomy to the uh, uh, to the inventors and uh, yeah, assisting in this sort of process. The period from 2010 to 2013 was marked by high-profile patent disputes between the world-leading IT companies. But after several years of exhausting proceedings, the parties resolved their uh, conflicts by agreeing of cooperation. Did you said face such kind of upheaval? Um, we haven't had to face such uh, disputes yet. However, we believe that our platform will prevent these sort of disputes happening. Uh, what happens with our platform is basically when an inventor comes up with uh, some sort of idea that they want to use our blockchain technology to, uh, to protect, they can timestamp their idea, which means that with the timestamp on the private blockchain, uh, everybody knows immediately when this idea was first uh, in its conceptual stages. So if somebody decides to try and steal this idea, we know when it was timestamped. From that process onwards, we take the most care to try and uh, protect the sensitive nature of the uh, IP so that it's not, it's not susceptible to IP theft. That's the whole point of the private blockchain and that's why we've implemented it in our, in our platform. The recognized invention must have novelty, inventive level and industrial applicability. How do you think? It is difficult to even anyone? Uh, absolutely, it's, it's very difficult. Uh, basically, 
you have to go through uh, several different stages of searching through uh, patent uh, office databases and trying to understand whether your idea really has some sort of uh, novel nature so that it can be patented. What our services uh, do for the inventor is we actually check these, uh, these databases for them and assist them in finding the novelty of, of their idea. Once, once we've found what the novelty is, we take it through the various stages of patentability. Um, this, uh, this is often a very difficult process because even if uh, somewhere in the public arena somebody's mentioned this idea before, it's no longer patentable. You have to actually have a completely novel concept that has not been mentioned anywhere else in the world. So like I said, we, we try and work with the inventor and find what it is about their idea that makes it uh, patentable. And if, if it's lacking something, then we'll assist them in trying to find uh, exactly uh, what the novelty is in their, in their idea. How do technologies help innovators? What needs to be known and what step are you needed to get into the sphere of your company's interest? Yes. So basically, after we evaluate the idea during the first stage of evaluation, um, if it has any merit at all, we will take it onto a two-filter system where First, a body of scientists, which is comprised of some of the top scientists from around the world, um, would evaluate the idea based on its scientific merit. So basically, if um, they approve the idea, they say that yes, it can actually be created from a scientific perspective, we, we take it to the next stage of evaluation. The next stage, it gets brought in front of the business uh, evaluation uh, step. Here, the business community which we're associated with will evaluate whether it can actually be brought to market. Can it capture a market and can it generate profit? Obviously, if an idea can be created from a scientific perspective but has no commercial merit, there's no point of actually developing this idea. So if it passes those two stages, then we will continue on to the commercialization and uh, the steps which I described earlier, like uh, establishing a company around this entity and uh, commercializing it on this. Um, basically, this is where the private blockchain is really crucial because the private blockchain means that only the people who are evaluating the idea and the inventor have the keys to access the, uh, the sensitive IP which is stored on the blockchain. People, uh, e even if they own uh, USAT tokens and they have ownership over the blockchain itself, that doesn't necessarily mean that they can access any of the patents. So the the way I would explain how it works is similar to a bank. Even if you had uh, the entire shareholding of a bank, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have any access to the vault which is stored in the bank. It's a similar idea here. Even though USAT token holders become uh, shared owners of the blockchain that we create, they don't have access to the patents which are stored on the blockchain. Only the inventors and the people evaluating the patents have this uh, access. Obviously, we sign very strict non-disclosure agreements with anybody that's going to have access to any sensitive information on this private blockchain. And that's how we protect the ideas which we are working on. The USAT Incorporated platform provides customers with necessary tax information. Have you had problems with the customers in this area? We haven't had any issues in this area. Basically, what we do is we provide uh, any customers with general tax advice. Obviously, the tax implications for themselves would vary from place to place. So, uh, if they're based in Australia, obviously it's a little bit easier. We're more we have higher expertise in these in these areas. But we also have connections with uh, tax specialists all around the world. So we would give them some specialized advice on their particular situation. If it's a global product, then we would synchronize this information with uh, tax agents from all around the world, and we would advise our customers accordingly. Thank you, Alexander, for your time and for interesting interview. We wish success to you, Set Incorporated, and we also trust professionals. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this opportunity to speak to you. It was commercial advisor of you, Set Incorporated, Alexander Desain and Matos, in the Colesco News Studio. Stay with us.